This is a TCAP grade 7 practice test. Uh, question number 16. Which table shows a directly proportional relationship? Now, keys here are directly and proportional. Now, when I see the word proportional, I always think of fractions. Same thing with probability. Usually, if it starts with pro, you're probably going to make some sort of fraction. Really, you're making ratios. And when you have two ratios equal each other, so like 2 thirds is equal to six ninths. That's a nice little proportion there really. Uh, but what I want to do is remember that it's really just a fraction. And I'm trying to erase something here and I don't know why I clicked the wrong button. Sorry about that. Um, the other part of it is that it's directly. Now if I go directly in my classroom to the door from wherever I'm standing, I'm going to go the same direction the whole time. If I go up and around, I'm not going the same direction. I'm trying to do the exact same thing. So what we're trying to do is figure out a way to go from the x in the exact same fashion to the y in each step. So whatever I go from 1 to 1 tenth, I need to do the same thing to go from 3 to 3 tenths and 5 to 1 half. So my issue, and when I talked about proportions before, is that they're fractions, is I can set up a nice division to figure it out. Really, I'm going to multiply 1 by something and get to 1 tenth. But to go from y to x, I need to do the opposite, which is divide. So I'm going to type in 1 tenth divided by 1. And if I do that, I get 1 tenth. If I do 3 tenths divided by 3, that gives me, shockingly enough, 1 tenth. And if I do 1 half divided by 5, it gives me 1 tenth, which is shown, by the way, by the fact that 1 tenth is 1 over 10, 3 tenths would be 3 over 10, and 1 half is just another way to write 5 over 10. So f is my direct relation. But let's test my theory in one of the other ones to see if it works. Now if I use the same thing in h, it's a proportion, so I'm going to set up a fraction. 1 fourth divided by 7, or 1 14th, I'm sorry. It gives me 1 98th. Let's do 1 24th divided by 8. It gives me 1 over 192. Well, this line is not the same. That's not a direct proportion, or that's not a direct relationship. It's this crazy relationship. I'm walking around desks now to get to the door of my classroom. Go the direct route. Same thing if you did 8 and 1 16th. 1 16th divided by 8. 8. Stepping all over my tongue today. 1 over 128. And if I did 1 20th, divided by 10, I get 1 over 200. That's not the same as this, so that can't be a direct relationship. It might be a proportional relationship, but it's not a direct one. It's just whatever. So what I'm looking for is to have them move up by the same increments. By the way, that's supposed to be a zero. That might have been confusing. I apologize. Um, and in this case, they don't do that at all. Really, if you see the top of the fractions change, Da, 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 that's likely the case. See, in this one, the bottom, the denominators change. That's bad. Uh, in this case, denominators change. That's not looking good unless it happens to reduce. Same thing here. That's bad. On this, the tops just changed, except that one half made it look different. So if you use a divide method, it should work just fine. Find that direct way to your door. Uh, set up a fraction or a division, whatever, and then you're in good shape.